Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about a question that Gary from our Toronto area dot network user group asked me last week and basically Gary asked me how we could add a buy it now PayPal button to our dot network website to a dot network website so this is what I'll be talking about in this video. So first thing is that we have to log in to the back end of our site. And here I have a demo site already DNN 551, the latest release. So let's log in. We can log in either as admin or host. I usually prefer to log in as host, super, super account. And what I'll be doing, I will be creating a new page just so we don't mess around with the home page of our standard .NET Took deployment. And I'm going to call this PayPal page just for our test. I'm going to make this visible to our users and click update. So we have our new PayPal page. Now, what I will be doing is I'll be going to PayPal's website because I have to set up the PayPal buy it now button there in PayPal. So I have another tab. I have PayPal here, PayPal's website. I will have to log in to my account uh, in PayPal and you do have to have a PayPal account to make sure that you can have a, a buy it now button in your site. So I'm going to log in. That's the first thing. So I'm logged in now. And after I log in, I should come, you should come to merchant services. So you should come to this tab called merchant services. And then we do have a, a shortcut here called buy it now button. So if you want to create a buy it now button, here's the place. Again, buy it now button is usually used when you just have one product that you want to sell. You don't need a full fledged e-commerce solution. You just need something very simple to be able to sell your product, maybe a digital product, maybe a, a, a real product that needs to be shipped. But uh, again, we are in PayPal, we are going to create a buy it now button. So I can click on buy it now button. Let's wait for the page to come up. And I'm not going to go into full details of what options you should choose here. This is really up to you. I'm just going to go to some basics here. So the first thing is I want to mention, I want to specify which type of button I'm going to create. I'm going to create a buy it now button. The item name, again, what are you going to sell? Just for the sake of our example, I'm going to sell a, a chocolate box. And item ID, I can put any ID I want here. Just for, I would say, internal control. I'll put just 001. Just for my own uh, control. Price, here's the price of the product. Let's say $10. And currency, my default is set to Canadian uh, dollar. So I'm going to flip this to US dollar, USD. There are more, some more some additional options here, customize button. I'm not going to play around with that those options, but there are more options that you can select here. But I'm just going to keep the default ones. Now, you can set up uh, an amount for shipping. I'm not going to set up that at all. And, and tax either. I'm not going to be touching those. Under merchant account ID, I'm going to make it secure so it doesn't expose my email address if I don't want. And that's, that's, there are more options here in the track inventory and customize advanced features, but I'm not going to cover that. I'm just going to create again, very simple, straightforward buy it now button. So at the end, I can click create button. So let's wait for PayPal to come back. Now, here's what I would call the, the trick, the tricky thing. There are two options. You can, you can have the website code or the email code. Now, if you are doing this in a website, you will be very much tempt, tempted to copy this code and add to your .NET website. But here's the tricky part. Uh, according to my tests, and again, as far as I, as I went here, uh, because the website code has a form tag on it, it will conflict with the form tag that already exists in .NET Took, in any .NET Took page. So, what we actually want to do is a bit of a mixture of the website codes and the email codes. So the website code would provide uh, a, a, a little form with, with the button and the email code will provide you just with a link. 
Now, you don't want to put just a, a plain link in your website. You want to, to make that link to be, let's say, a buy it now image link. So that's where I'm saying that it's a bit of a mixture of the website and the email because we will use this URL provided under the email tab, but we'll link that within our website from a, a buy it now button, from a button like this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the website option and under the website option, well, it, it only selects the entire code. I'm just going to copy this for now. Right click, I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna open a, a text editor here, just in my computer. So here's a text editor, I'm gonna paste that code here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get the image source. This is the source of the, the, the buy it now button. I'm gonna copy this source. And what I'll be doing is I'll be adding I'll be uh, loading this button from within our site and pointing that button to uh, to this uh, URL here under the email link. So let's go back to our, to our site. I do have already uh, a text HTML area added to the page, module added to the page. So I'm going to go and edit this content. So I'm now in the content editor. Now what I'll be doing is I'll be deleting this text. And again, I just want the button here. I will be going through as I would, uh, as I would be adding a, uh, an image to this, to this content. So I'll click the image manager. I will just select any image in my, in my standard uh, DNN installation. Just for the sake of our example, I'll select the first one. I'm going to click in search and then I'm going to flip temporarily to basic text box. Now from here, there's a source parameter in the, in the image tag. I'm going to replace this content by the buy it now button link, uh, image source that I have, uh, copied from PayPal code that I just, I just copied. So let me flip back to rich text editor. So now you can see that the buy it now button is there, but we're not done yet. This is just the image. Now I'm going to go back to PayPal. I'm going to, in the, in the email tab, I'm going to copy this link that is, uh, suggested here, the, the email, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my site. I'm going to click in my image and I'm going to click in the tools of the editor. One that says link, yeah, hyperlink manager from the hyperlink manager. I will, I will click under URL and I will paste the link here. And that's basically it. Let me click. Okay. So, so now I can save this. And if I click buy it now button, what it will do is it will redirect me to PayPal so I can make the purchase that I have just set up. See, now we are direct to PayPal chocolate boxes at the top and I can make the purchase here. So, Again, in a simple way, this is how we're going to go about adding a buy it now button to your .NET website. Now, there are some other options. If you go to Snow Covered, you will be able to find this module called basic PayPal button, PayPal buy it now button, which you can use that if you are not comfortable doing what I just did. And again, it's not a expensive module, so you can buy it give it a try. This is an alternative as compared to doing all those steps that I have just highlighted. But again, in a, in a, in short, this is the way you're going to go about creating a buy it now, a simple buy it now button that links your .NET website to PayPal. Thank you very much. Bye for now.